this is going to be the standard instructional video of how to use the 2400 in the uh, manual and auto resistance modes. In the auto, that does not mean it is the auto range for the resistance. It means that we can use this as a DMM only. So it's going to source a little current, measure a little voltage. Let me show you what I mean. After power up, if you were to just select ohms or resistance with the ohms button, notice it changed to ohms, and notice it says I source of 10 microamps. That's because we have a 100k ohm resistor on the terminals. Okay, it's going to choose the current for you, just like a multimeter would. If I were to say output on, we're reading about the 100k, 100k ohms. That's good. That is in the manual mode. You could play with the range. You could go up or down. Okay, but it chooses it for you. It's in the auto mode like a DMM. If you were to change it, let me show you. You hit the config button, the ohms button, and you look for source. Once source is flashing, you could hit enter. See, we're in the auto mode. Auto makes it look like a DMM. If you were to select manual mode, hit enter, then exit. Now, you'll see that it still stays the same at 10 microamps and a certain compliance. If we were to hit output on, look at that, it's still the same. But here's the key. In manual mode, you can select either voltage or current to source and what your compliance is going to be. For instance, what if we stopped it and went to source V? See how that went to V source? Now we'll just edit it. At 100K, let's put in, um, oh, I don't know, 1 volt. O1, enter, and we'll leave the compliance alone. Hit operate. Look at that. It reads about the same, but it's sourcing voltage and measuring resistance. So that's the big difference between auto and manual ohms. Manual ohms, you can select the source and the value of the source, either voltage or current, in auto ohms, it selects the source current for you. 